Okay, so today was the first day that I felt my energy kind of coming back to normal levels after the weekend of just not eating my normal diet and going out for drinks and stuff. Um, so I did a back workout with rear delts and then did a finisher just to, to kind of sweat everything out of me, the last bit of my system. So I started here with a um, dumbbell bent over row drop set, three sets of 10. I'll put the entire workout in the description, so just have a look on that. Um, then the next movement was a super set, so a lap pull down. Um, Again, the main focus pulling through the lats, like I don't lift a lot of weight on anything on back because I'm trying to focus and squeeze through every muscle in the back um, and I don't want my biceps and other things kicking in. Um, so just drop the weight when you train back and just focus for squeeze. Um, so the superset here was a lap pull down straight into a seated row. Um, and I only had about 35 kilos on this um, and I was failing at sets of eight. You know, I was getting to six and I was really like just pushing through for the last two reps. Um, so that was my back move and then I went straight into rear delts. Um, I put this up on my Instagram, so check that out. Um, basically just a tri set for rear delts. Again, not lifting too heavy because your rear delts a small move. You don't want your traps kicking in for it. Um, so dropping the weight. Um, I did 10 reps palms facing in, then 10 reps palm facing outwards, um, and then 10 reps where you bend at the elbows and try and pull up through your rear delts. Um, again, going lighter really helps this. And then the finisher was just three moves, kettlebell swings with a focus to the glutes, so trying to fire to the glutes in each one. This is straight out of my GA Lean Body program, um, or one of the versions. is about 12 versions in total. Um, so 20 reps on that, then 20 reps with a kettlebell thrusters. Um, the actual program has barbell thrusters as the, as the finish in it, uh, but I switched to kettlebells today just because I couldn't get the barbell I wanted. Um, so 20 reps on that, and then 20 box jumps. Um, and what I did is I did five rounds total. Um, there's three, three rounds in the program. I shortened up the hypotrophy part of the workout um, and just did a little bit extra on this, but yeah, works great. Okay, that was today's workout. Um, just getting back into the swing of it. Um, I did a vlog for London, but I, I, I haven't uploaded it um, just because I've actually expanded on the videos because I've done a video that uh, talking about how to eat when you're planning to go out on a night of drinks um, or when you know your diet's not going to be great. Um, but I'm going to upload that on Friday or Saturday um, just because the full video explaining what you can do and probably a good time to put it up before the weekend. Um, so that was today's workout. As I said, just getting back into the swing of things after... Um, having a, a weekend of, I wasn't even eating that poorly. Um, it was just like anyone following my Snapchat, like I was taking photos of like packs of chicken and things like that. You know, there was once upon a time when those foods were, were fine and they worked well for me. Uh, but now my body's so used to just eating clean foods, eating, you know, um, non-processed foods with no shit ingredients. Um, and it, it, that food just knocked me for six. And I went for, out for drinks on uh, Friday and the Saturday. Um, and obviously I had ice cream and stuff on the Sunday. Um, but it was the processed food which just kind of turned on my stomach and my energy levels were just shot. Um, so I've been trying to get all of that out of my system. So I did a really hard workout today and a really hard one yesterday. Um, so if you check my Instagram, you can see the uh, the four movement workout I did yesterday. Um, it was just to kind of get myself back on par, get just kind of sweat out all the shit. Um, and now it's back on track with diet and back eating my normal food and living my normal lifestyle. Uh, it's a little bit trickier when you're traveling. Um, I'm in Toronto and New York next month. Uh, well, tomorrow's September, I think. Uh, in September, um, I'm over for the Archangel Summit in Toronto and then I'm in New York after. Um, so I'm going to be doing vlogs and stuff on how to travel um, just for anyone that's going away at any stage, even if it's just weekend breaks um, or you know normal holidays or whatever it is, just to kind of give you an idea of what I do. Um, and then hopefully there'll be tips there that can support people going forward. Because I know a lot of people send me Snapchats and when I open my Q&A, they're like, can I bring my supplements on the plane? You know, and think you can is the answer. Um, but things like that will help. So I'm going to, zoom, I'm going to vlog it myself um, and just talk you through what I do when I'm eating, when I'm away, how I'm going to be training, how I'm going to locate gyms, if I'm going to train in the parks or in the hotel or whatever it is. Um, just obviously I've got a lot of meetings and stuff while I'm in Toronto as well. So uh, time's going to be a little bit short. So just what I'll do um, and how I get my workouts in if I'm short on time and how I get my meals in. Uh, so hopefully that'll help loads as well. Um, so that's everything. I'm going to do a vlog later on this week, hopefully, talking about the books and stuff I'm reading now because that seems to be that a lot of the feedback coming back from the comments on YouTube and on Facebook, people asking about what I'm reading. Um, so follow my Snapchat, Brian K019, because I put up my audio book every morning. Um, I go through about four books a week, maybe five books a week between audio books and, and hard books. Um, so I put them up every morning in the book. I'm listening to audio on my morning walk. And then I always read before I go to the gym. It's like just my, my routine before the gym. 
And then again before bed, um, I try and read for about 30, 45 minutes every day and at least the same in an audiobook. It's normally a lot longer. That's why I get through so many audiobooks. Um, so stay on my Snapchat for that, but I'll try and do a full video just to kind of give you a gauge on the things that I'm finding that are supporting me at the minute. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, thanks again for watching this vlog. Um, online program starting on Monday. So by the time this vlog goes up, the competition that I've ran on Snapchat will be over. Um, but stay on my Snapchat as well because I do competitions and free giveaways and things like that. So make sure you get over there, Brian K019. Check that out. Um, thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll come at you tomorrow with another video.